This is the only Victorian shop front left on the King's Road, but the building's age is causing problems including flooding and so family-run Green and Stone has to relocate. It's, it's quite devastating. I know certainly when I first found out that I wouldn't ever be coming to work here again, um, I was a little bit inconsolable. Um, I've spent my whole life here, not even exaggeration, my whole life has been in this shop. I've grown up in here. The shop means a lot to its customers, many of whom have been coming here for decades. At least 50 years. Um, and it means, well, a huge amount. We live around the corner. I buy all my thank you postcards for dinners out. They will help you. They will ask questions and recommend proper staff or proper job. And I, I really enjoy it. I've been coming here for years since I finished my um, art school. Even the smell of the shop is so traditional. It makes you feel you want to sort of take up a brush and sort of paint. Artists Damien Hurst, Francis Bacon and David Hockney have all bought supplies here. Another customer is this milliner a few doors down. She buys materials to help her make hats for royal heads. Often just run four doors down with a hat and trying to match up a colour or something and they always have exactly what I want. So I'm a little bit sad that they're leaving. Green and Stone is thought to be the oldest shop on the King's Road. This shop has a colourful past. It started selling art supplies in 1934 and before that it was used by the women's suffragette movement. That colourful past also includes plenty of A-listers. What's her name? This is so bad. Who's the one who was married to Brad Pitt? Angelina. <laughs> Angelina Jolie. She comes in a, a lot. Adele comes in and she is a hoot a minute. She buys stuff for her kids. And the most memorable moment? It's probably when Jamiroquai came in and he was walking around and putting things in his pocket. And I was really bold. I think I was about 14 or 15. I went, are you going to pay for those, sir? And I didn't realise it was Jim Rickon. He goes, yeah, man, just, I couldn't find a basket. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. They're crowdfunding to raise money to help with the move, which is to the Fulham Road in October. But in two weeks, Green and Stone will reluctantly close on the King's Road. Helen Drew, BBC London News.